one of the longest serving and most widespread EMU classes of the modern era, the Class 321 family comprises the flagship 321 units of the London commuter belt, the Class 320s of the Glasgow area, and the Class 322s of the former Stansted Express. Entering service in the late 1980s, these trains proved to be the backbone of many major passenger corridors across the UK rail network, presenting a sturdy modern design that was married to excellent performance and flexibility, thus ensuring longevity prior to their final withdrawal in 2023, as new classes of unit moved in to replace them on their primary services. The story of the Class 321 begins in the mid-1980s, with the formation of Network South East in 1986 a rebranding of the recently created London and South East or LSE sector that had been developed under British Rail's sectorisation scheme during 1982, sectorisation allowing the individual aspects of BR's corporate empire a greater degree of autonomy to tailor their services to the conditions of their routes and market. One of the main commitments of Network South East was to replace its ageing fleet of slammed or multiple units from the 1960s with thoroughly modern rolling stock, so as to increase reliability and capacity, compounded further by the fact that much of the 1960s slam door stock of the BR modernisation plan era had no central locking, and thus meant the doors could be opened while the trains were still in motion, thereby falling foul of newer health and safety standards. One of the main commuter corridors out of London that fell under the auspices of Network South East was the former Great Eastern Main Line from London Liverpool Street to Colchester, Harwich, Clacton, Ipswich and Norwich this route being highlighted as perhaps the most notable example of a line in desperate need for new rolling stock. Services on this corridor comprised a mix of both low-speed, high-capacity stopping trains and long-distance operations to Essex and Anglia, out of suburban services to Romford and Shenfield being accommodated by Class 305s, 307s and 308s of the 1950s and 60s, while high-speed, long-distance express trains operating to Colchester and Clacton were operated principally by the 100 mile an hour Class 309 sets, operations beyond the end of the wires at Colchester being catered for by Class 37s and 47s with loco hauled Mark II coaches. Following an initial proposal made in 1978 and a formal planning study commencing from 1980, the London and South East sector undertook a large scale rationalisation of the track work and signalling beyond Colchester so as to reduce maintenance costs for the largely mechanically based system. This was done in preparation for initial electrification of the route to Ipswich that was completed on April 9, 1985, followed immediately by a second phase to electrify the remainder of the Great Eastern Main Line to its terminus at Norwich, approximately 114 miles from London Liverpool Street, this phase being complemented by the extension of electric services on the West Anglia Main Line from their current terminus at Bishop Stortford to Cambridge in 1987. Mainline electric services on the Great Eastern were to be powered by a contingent of Class 86 electric locomotives and loco hauled stock that had been transferred from the West Coast Mainline out of London Euston, while for high density commuter and outer suburban services from London Liverpool Street, Network South East demanded that new stock be drafted in to replace the aging Class 305s, 307s, 308s and 309s. Therefore, a tender was placed with the British Rail Engineering Limited works at York which had also built the Class 309s, to deliver an initial order for 46, later 66, 100 mile an hour four-car units that would be based on the body shells of the highly successful Mark III coach of the 1970s. Prior to this, the Mark III had lent its flexible and sturdy design to other electric multiple unit classes, including the Class 317s of the newly electrified London St Pancras to Bedford route, the Class 318s of the Glasgow Southwestern sector, and the upcoming Class 319 dual voltage units for the Cross London Thameslink service. For the new class, dubbed the Class 321, this would differ from the preceding Class 317 and 318 by way of removing the nose mounted gangways, thus allowing for improved visibility for the driver. The original batch of Class 321s, designated Class 321 3, began development in September 1987, and on September 15, 1988, the first examples were released from the York Works to undergo early trials, the Class 321-3s being fitted with full standard class seating, with the exception of a small first class section of 16 seats, usually located at the London end of the train. The first diagrams for the Class 321s upon their launch were on mainline outer suburban services from London Liverpool Street 
to Clacton and South End Victoria, which was soon followed by the recently electrified runs to Ipswich and Harwich, the latter destination including a newly established boat train service to Harwich International in order to connect with the Stena Line passenger ferry to Hook of Holland. This train, christened Dutch Flyer, replaced the previous Hook Continental of Great Eastern Railway heritage and would run non-stop from London Liverpool Street to Harwich International at a 100 mile an hour top speed for nearly the entire course of its journey. The collaboration of Network Southeast, together with the Dutch railway operator Nederlandse Spoorwegen, being commemorated when 321334 was painted in NS corporate blue and yellow and was given the name Amsterdam. With class 321 deliveries continuing into 1989, they rapidly displaced the earlier slam door stock from their operations in combination with class 315s on inner suburban services and a new contingent of class 317s which appeared during 1992. This allowed for outer suburban class 305s, 307s and 308s to be either withdrawn or transferred away to different routes, the class 305s ending up either in the Manchester area or on services out of Edinburgh Waverley, 307s being sent to West Yorkshire to work trains out of Leeds, and class 308s also ending up in West Yorkshire to cover for a delivery of class 323 units that never materialised. The flagship class 309s, meanwhile, which had undergone a multi-million pound refurbishment only a few years prior, were displaced by Class 321s on their premier Clacton services in May 1992, with the final units lingering on in semi-fast outer suburban use from Liverpool Street until 1994, with the few survivors being ultimately sent north to work out of Manchester Piccadilly until 2000. The introduction of the Class 321s, though, was not one universally praised, with these trains being compared unfavourably to the Class 309s by staff and passengers due to their more one-size-fits-all interiors tailored for both express services and commuter runs, while the Class 309s presented interior seating, ride quality and furnishings of a higher standard that was more devoted to long-distance passenger trains. However, even with these trains being initially received ambivalently by the travelling public, the Class 321, as the new face of Network Southeast's high-speed electric services, saw immediate recognition in terms of marketing, as was the case during early 1991, when Leyland Fleet Line 1515, with Metro Camel Wayman coachwork, was modified as part of a promotional campaign for a newly introduced one-day travel card on most services throughout London into what was dubbed Supercar. This vehicle incorporated the forward section and underpinnings of the original Fleet Line double-decker bus, but had its middle section replaced by a mock-up of a contemporary underground tube stock, and its rear the forward cab body shell of a Class 321 unit, conversion of the vehicle being undertaken by John Mayer of Pine Films and was retired to the Epping Onga Railway in 1992. Regardless of their perception though, the successful introduction of Class 321s on the Great Eastern quickly led to interest being garnered in these units from other aspects of the Network Southeast system, most notably London Midland services out of London Euston to Milton Keynes, Northampton and Birmingham New Street. By the late 1980s, these services comprised a motley section of Class 310s from 1965 and Class 317s that had been drafted in during 1987, both of which ran primary commuter runs and semi-fast services between London and Birmingham, the Class 310s already being on their way out by 1988 and were subsequently transferred to either the London Tilbury and South End line out of London Fenchurch Street or stopping trains centred around Birmingham. Meanwhile, the Class 317s, though capable of 100 miles an hour, were more suited to the functional role of a commuter train rather than providing the more express-orientated interiors of the newly built Class 321s on the Great Eastern, and thus the decision was made from 1988 for the York Works to deliver a second batch of these units, dubbed Class 321-4s, and would comprise 48 four-car units, all of which would be allocated to Bletchley Depot south of Milton Keynes. The 321-4s differed from their 321-3 cousins by way of an enlarged first-class section which could accommodate 28 seats instead of 16, though all other mechanical and technical aspects remained generally the same. Ordered in October 1988, the first 321-4s started to appear on the West Coast Main Line from July 1989, working the high-density semi-fast services from London Euston to Northampton, Rugby and Birmingham New Street displacing the Class 317s only two years after they had been introduced, and subsequently seeing these trains put to work on new diagrams out of London King's Cross and London Liverpool Street. 
The Class 321 subsequently became the primary multiple unit power for Network Southeast Premier Birmingham Run, and through their flexibility could easily manage both stopping trains to Milton Keynes and limited stop semi fast runs that complemented Intercity's high end expresses to the northwestern Scotland. The final Class 321 4s being delivered by the end of 1991 and allowing for the remaining Class 317s to be sent elsewhere during 1992 as the new units came to dominate the London Midland region. This wasn't completely the end of the Class 321 build-out, though, as amid the electrification of the East Coast Main Line, from the current end of the wires at Hitchin, to Peterborough, Grantham, Doncaster, Leeds, York, Newcastle and Edinburgh, new electric traction was needed to work commuter services out of Leeds on the Main Line run to Doncaster. This was initially supplied by a contingent of Class 307s during 1991, which themselves had been displaced from the Great Eastern Main Line by the original batch of Class 321-3s, although the use of the Class 307s was merely a stopgap until the delivery of a dedicated new fleet of Class 321s, which came under the designation of Class 321-9. These sets had been ordered by regional railways in 1991, but had been paid for by the West Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive, the 321-9s eventually emerging from the York Works in 1993, and had no mechanical or technical differences from their cousins in London, the only notable change being the fact that the three units were fitted fully with standard class seating. 321-9s started their careers exclusively on the shuttle service between Leeds and Doncaster via Wakefield Westgate, before seeing their influence expand during 1995 when they began working on Wharfdale line services from Leeds to Ilkley. Beyond the class 321s though, the general design and underpinnings of the class have also lent themselves to other derivatives that saw work across the UK railway system, the first derivative design appearing from the York Works in October 1990 as the Class 320, a three-car variant of the 321, of which 22 examples were ordered during January 1989 so as to replace the 1959-built Press Steel Class 303 units on North Clyde services between Glasgow, Ballock, Helensborough and Milne Gavey. The Class 320s, aside from missing the non-pantograph trailer coach, differed from the 321s by way of not originally featuring toilets and being only capable of attaining a top speed of 75 miles an hour due to their primary use on stopping services, although later revisions to the design saw the introduction of a toilet and the upping of the unit's top speed to 90 miles an hour through the fitting of your dampers that were standard on the rest of the 321 fleet. Class 322s, meanwhile, also appeared from the York Works in 1990, when in order to serve the new branch and station connection at Stansted Airport to the northeast of London, a dedicated fleet of multiple units was needed to provide high-speed operations between the terminal and London Liverpool Street. The solution presented itself in the form of five units, which, for all intents and purposes, were no different from the Class 321s off which they were based, their only notable differences being their tailoring for use on airport shuttle services where more business travellers and passengers with large suitcases would need to be accommodated, resulting in the fitting of a much larger first-class section and the provision of lower-density four-abreast seating rather than five-abreast in standard class. All units were outshopped in a unique Stansted Express white and green livery with Network Southeast decals, and initially worked on peak hour services between Cambridge and Liverpool Street until the Stansted branch was formally opened in 1991. Come privatisation in 1994, the Class 321 fleet remained primarily within the same corridors as they had done when allocated under Network Southeast, with the original 66 321-3 units, plus an additional 11 321-4s, transferred to Great Eastern operations during the early 1990s, being sold to the Eversholt Rail Leasing Company, who in turn leased them to First Great Eastern. On the West Coast Main Line, all units working out of London Euston fell under the auspices of the Silverlink franchise, and the 321-9s were taken on by Arriva Trains Northern, which was originally marketed under the name Northern Spirit, although unlike many other ex-British Rail units inherited by this firm, Class 321s working in Yorkshire retained their original West Yorkshire PTE Metro Train Crimson and Cream livery until as late as 2007. As for the derivative Class 320s and 322s, the former were transferred to the operation of the newly formed ScotRail franchise under National Express in March 1997, with all 22 units being allocated to either North Clyde Line and Argyle Line services 
that run via the low-level stations in central Glasgow, or the Cathcart Circle lines to Newton and Neilston in order to replace older Class 314s. The Class 322's tenure as the primary motive power for the Stansted Express didn't last long, though, as with the influx of Class 317s displaced by 321s from the West Coast Main Line, the new private operator of commuter services out of London Liverpool Street and King's Cross, West Anglia Great Northern or Wagon, opted to start introducing 317s on the Stansted Express run. This meant the 322s could be subleased to various other rail operators, the most notable being a brief stint with Northwestern Trains during 1998, when two units were put to work on a short-lived express service from London Euston to Manchester Airport in competition with Virgin Trains, which was ultimately dropped within a year due to low patronage. Furthermore, these units also saw occasional transfer onto services out of London Euston, semi-fast workings from Liverpool Street to Norwich, and some diagrams working out of King's Cross to Peterborough. In the end, following the refurbishment of Class 317s for airport work, the Class 322s were withdrawn from the Stansted Express in 2000, after which they operated as part of the general wagon fleet on conventional trains to Cambridge and Peterborough, though still wearing a faded revised version of the Stansted Express livery, which replaced the green band with a yellow one, before all units were eventually transferred north to Scotland during December 2001, so as to replace Class 305 slam door units on the Edinburgh to North Berwick services. After a few fleeting visitations back to their former Essex homeland, the 322s would officially be made part of the Scotrail fleet during 2004, and remain a fixture on the Edinburgh to North Berwick service for the remainder of the decade. Class 320s, 321s and 322s would continue to be a staple of the UK's mainline commuter networks well into the 2000s and 2010s, although even as early as 2004, new units began to come online that would replace these train sets on a vast array of workings across the nation, starting off with the arrival of Class 350-0 units under the Silverlink and Central Trains franchises, which initially began running services between Birmingham, Northampton and Liverpool. However, these rapidly took over on primary operations between London and Birmingham, and the appearance of these trains saw displaced Class 321s transferred in large quantities to the East Coast Main Line out of King's Cross, so as to work semi-fast trains to Peterborough and Cambridge for First Capital Connect, and the Great Eastern Main Line to supplement operations out of London Liverpool Street, leaving only seven examples retained by the newly formed London Midland franchise by the end of 2011. These worked solely to supplement the zeros on peak hour services and to run the St Albans Abbey branch train from Watford Junction, with the last Class 321s being withdrawn by London Midland in September 2015, although these seven sets were able to find a new life in Scotland, where, after being cut down to three cars, they were put to work alongside their Class 320 cousins on services out of Glasgow, and were subsequently redesignated to Class 320-4s. Now focused exclusively on the East Coast and Great Eastern Main Lines, Class 321s remained the power of these routes alongside Class 365s, 317s and 360-0 units until the middle of the 2010s, when First Capital Connect, now replaced by the Great Northern franchise, took possession of newer Class 387 units cascaded from the Thameslink route following the introduction of Class 700-0s on that line, leading to all Great Northern Class 321s being withdrawn from Great Northern service by the end of 2016. Ten units were thus moved to Greater Anglia, and three were converted to Class 320s prior to their transfer north to Scotland, while on the Great Eastern Main Line, a life extension programme dubbed Project Renatus was undertaken from December 2013 so as to ensure continued use of the Class 321s well into the 2020s. This refurbishment scheme entailed a new livery, a completely refitted interior including two examples of seating arrangements, that included four and five abreast seating, and the installation of air conditioning in combination with fixed panel windows to replace the previous opening windows of the original Class 321s, the Renatus project initially being demonstrated on pilot unit 321448, before eventually being rolled out across 30 further units from December 2016. Sadly, the ever-increasing number of new trains being introduced meant the future of the Class 321s together with the Class 322s, was becoming ever more bleak, the 322s, having been replaced by Class 380s in Scotland, being transferred to the West Yorkshire area to work alongside Class 321-9s on services between Leeds, Doncaster, Ilkley, Skipton and Bradford. 
These were eventually replaced in April 2020 by the arrival of Class 331 units built by CAF, leading to both the Class 322s and 321-9s being sent en masse to the Great Eastern Main Line out of Liverpool Street, the last domain of the Class 321s by the end of 2020. Class 322s and 321-9s covering for the delayed entry of Class 720 units into service until both were withdrawn during the summer of 2022 and all sent for scrapping. Class 321s for Greater Anglia would remain in operation with the firm until April 2023, when new traction in the form of Class 720 and 745 meant the last examples could be withdrawn, the final day of regular Class 321 operation being April 3rd, followed by their full retirement by the end of the month, the remaining 87 sets, together with the Class 322s, either having been stored, scrapped, or converted to Class 320s. In terms of future use, the Class 321 family did have several promising proposals, including experiments by rolling stock manufacturer Alstom, who intended to convert retired Class 321 units to hydrogen power under a program dubbed Breeze, with hydrogen-powered sets being redesignated Class 600, though this scheme collapsed during early 2022. Another concept was a battery conversion scheme conducted by VibaRail, which intended to operate the sets on services in Scotland using the same technology as had been fitted to form a London underground stock in order to create the Class 230. But following VibaRail's entry into administration in December 2022, the project was ultimately cancelled. Another proposed reuse of the robust and practical Class 321 body shell was for parcels trains under the Swift banner, with five former sets being converted for use on a pilot service between Birmingham and Scotland. And while this operation did commence from January 2022, Eversholt Rail announced in September 2023 that they had abandoned the scheme, though Varamis Rail have stated that they are considering taking over the service using the four converted 321 units. To summarise, the Class 321s, together with their corresponding Class 320 and 322 cousins, illustrated an impressive and practical series of electric multiple units that combined high-speed performance with a sturdy, flexible and practical interior so as to replace the ageing slam door rolling stock of the 1950s and 60s. However, while all examples have now essentially been withdrawn, with the exception of the Class 320s, hope may still be found yet for a new life among these versatile machines, potentially assuring their continued use well into the decade.